Hey, it's Julian, and today I'm gonna show you how to not only alter your magic cards, but magic online altogether. In order to give you an idea of what we are trying to achieve here, I'm gonna show you what my magic online looks like. You can already see that the opening screen is quite different. And let me log in on a second screen for a moment. Let's check that out. You can already see on the side I replaced the sidebar and I just noticed I pointed to it with my finger sitting in front of my monitor. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. Anyway, uh, Magic Online is still loading and you will already be able to see a couple of those changes and cosmetic alterations that are made that you will also be able to make once you know how to do it. It's actually really not that hard. The, the, the hardest part is to come up with so something that you like and actually want to change. Like when I changed my uh, my natural orders to Tinkers, I kept thinking like for the first two weeks that my natural orders only costed three mana, but in fact they do cost four mana. Anyway, okay, so down here you see the avatars, depending on which avatar on Magic Online your friends chose, they appear as either like a Street Fighter character, a Mario character, or whatever you want to put there. Uh, for the store, that's just a gimmick that you will probably only use once and then never again, but I wanted to do it because I liked it. I replaced all of the boosters and uh, deck builders essentials with kappas and mario items also some zelda items and i replaced the magic online event ticket with a dollar which is pretty close to what it's worth which i find pretty cool uh, over here in my collection uh, that's the only thing i didn't change you can also change these uh, deck boxes if you want to but you don't have to uh, for the items uh, th we already saw these are the event tickets i changed the play player points i think they are called yeah play points to bison bucks i thought that was <laughs> somewhat fitting i, I kind of like the idea and i replaced the qualifier points that i have no use for with something awesome and that's the sonic logo i also changed the, oh are we gonna see that uh, it's probably way on the bottom i changed the treasure chest but i sold all of mine into a zelda treasure chest so that's much better <laughs> Uh, so what are we trying to do here? Um, we are trying to alter, say, Terminus. So in order to alter Terminus, because the regular artwork is too boring, uh, we go to the Explorer, uh, this computer, you locate to the file you, you, where your Windows installation is, and then you have to make sure to click View and Hidden Items and check that. So you can see all of those. Now you go to, actually, where are we going? Uh, you go to Users. Then your username and my is Euro from your operator, don't, it's from Skype, whatever. Yours is probably way better. Then we click, click App Data, which is a hidden folder. Local, Wizards of the Coast, Magic Online, Images. And then this is pretty much all we are going to alter. In theme, uh, you got, like you already saw that, you, you've got the Mario Kart thing, you've got uh, the sidebar in uh, store you can change all the different items in the store it's really not worth your time unless you want to be cute and do this <laughs> uh in kicker that's the loading screen that i altered you can also check, put the, whatever you want there maybe some cat pictures or something deck manager is the only thing i didn't change where you can change your deck boxes and folders and then we got avatar and avatar in frame in order to understand the difference, um, you have to know that the picture that you see of your friends in the buddy list is not necessarily the same that you see in game. Magic Online stores those in different folders. So avatar are the avatars that you see in the buddy list. And all of them are tier one, of course. This is where you make those changes. Once again, what, whatever you do in this folder doesn't appear in game. It's just for the buddy list, but I think it's still kind of cute because like, it's, if you want to give a whole theme to your to your magic on an alteration, then you also do this. But it's tons of work like to come up with the end. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back. Uh, where you're probably going to do the most alterations is an avatar in frame. Avatar in frame, I almost don't want to open it because there's not only the avatars, but all cards that are on Magic Online, at least that you have ever seen before. Because Magic Online works in a way it doesn't load the card images until you actually physically see the card. So I will uh, get back to that because that has some implications for us. But for now, let's just assume these are all the cards on Magic Online and also all the player avatars. It's somewhat annoying because the player avatars um, sorting wise are treated like cards. Uh, so you have to like literally browse through here and try to find the cards because they only have numbers. Fortunately, they are at least somewhat sorted by edition. Like it doesn't really start with beta because beta is not matching online. There's only like vintage masters. 
And I still haven't found out where exactly Vintage Masters is. That's also <laughs> why we are not altering Black Lotus. But like, if you are willing to browse through this and try to find Black Lotus or at least met, um, uh, Vintage Masters, then you could easily do that. Uh, you already see some of the avatars here. These are like the stock standard avatars that you get at the very beginning. If you are only looking to alter avatars in game, then you just click the search file, uh, search box, and you click uh, put in Van, because all the avatars they're called Van from I assume Vanguard. That's much easier to find. Like you see, this is the one that I use on Magic Online. It's bright pink because I want to chroma key that out on OBS. But if you want to put something else there, do whatever you like. You you're free to do anything. But we are going to alter Terminus, and fortunately we don't have to look for Terminus because I already know that it's called this. And then we find Terminus. So we load it into Photoshop. Oh, and you already see the alteration that we're going to make. Um, this is a, a previous alteration I had for it, so let's just take that and put it in here. And now this, here comes the important part. Um, let's go back to the, to the folder. So, um, by default, this folder, like if you go to Art and Frame and then Tier 1, the Tier 1 folder, you can do whatever you want to it. However, next time you load Magic Online, it will check for the files and see whether they have the, the correct checksum or whatever and overwrite them if they are wrong. So in order to preserve your alterations, you have to set that properties, uh, security, and then you have to give them, like deny writing. Uh, what do you call that? Rights. So I just check to make sure I haven't denied writing rights because that's the default. So I can just go ahead, take this, and then you can also use paint. You don't need to use Photoshop. Then you will save it. Make sure to save it as a JPEG, not as a PNG, because the file that we are altering is a JPEG. And uh, this is the wrong folder. It's here. Users, Euro, App Data, Local, Results of Coast, Magic Online, Images, Art and Frame, Tier 1. And then we already have the correct name here, and I just override it. Yes. Oh, my Photoshop is in German, but I guess you, you, you're following. Okay, now here's the important part. We go here and we turn Magic Online to not, or actually not Magic Online, but all of the system to not grant writing rights. So deny, yes. I'm doing it for all the, for like for the system and for all the users. I don't know if you actually have to do that, but I'm always just doing it like that. And then it takes some time because it needs to do it for every single file. And this way, you like nothing on your system can overwrite those files now. So Magic Online tries to overwrite them, but it's like, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> so you get to use whatever you want. Uh, you have to do the same for all the files, like for all the different versions that you want to alter, like avatars or stores or whatever. Like these are already pre writing denied because I, I never changed that back. But in order to alter the, the terminus, I had to, I had to remove the, the, deny on writing for this folder, but now it's back in place. And we can safely launch Magic Online. I also um, recommend making a backup of all of those changes, usually by copying the image folder and putting it somewhere on the desktop. I actually have it over here. It's called Modo Alters. Because if for some reason you, you removed or you actually you granted writing rights back to the system and you started Magic Online, all of your alters would be gone. So let's head back into Magic Online. Once again, I'm gonna input my password on the second screen, if it lets me. Okay, anyway, we have to do it again because Magic Online crashed while I was doing this. Um, yeah, <laughs> nothing to say about that. Uh, I'm gonna look. Okay, so now it loaded correctly. Um, we're gonna head to the collection. And now we wanna check out Terminus, but since I actually don't own any terminus, we have to set quantity to zero. You click on quantity over here, and then usually it's set to one, which makes sense because you only want to see the cards that you own. But by setting it to zero, you can actually view all of the cards in Magic Online, and that makes it easier to find a card that you don't own, in this case, terminus. And as you can see, we made the change to the card. I don't know why it's looking so weird. Maybe it's some kind of foil animation. I don't know. Whatever, uh, this works. It's it's gonna look like this, somewhat like this in game, and yeah, we just made our first magic online alteration. Now, 
Before we proceed, there's something very important for you to understand. Otherwise, it's going to be like annoying and then you have to do everything all over again. You have to understand the way Magic Online handles pictures or card images. They are not stored on your system all the time, but they are only downloaded the first time you ever encounter the card. From then on, you're going to have the card in your, on, your, on your hard disk. But before that, the card is not in your hard disk. That way Magic Online avoids having to load, I don't know, 20,000 different cards to, to your hard drive. But since we are going to set the permission on the folder where the cards, card images are stored to like do not grant permission to write into that folder anymore because we want to like retain our alterations. Because of that, we have to load those images first. And that's quite tedious and quite annoying unless you have already played tons of Magic Online. Then probably all of those cards are going to be on your system. However, if they are not or if a new expansion comes out, here's what you need to do. You go to collection, you set quantity to zero, that way you can view all the cards. If you set it to one, you only see the cards that you own, but you want to also see the cards that your opponents play with. So you set it to zero. And then you really have to just like scroll down here. And this might take a while if this is a fresh installation of Magic Online. And you can already see these, these artworks, but if you do this for the first time on a fresh installation, all of these are going to be blanks. Imagining Online is only slowly going to load all of those images. And I wish I could do this a little bit faster, but yeah, you know the limitations of the software. Anyway, um, so you just scroll th through this and load all of those images. The downside is the moment the next expansion comes out, you have to do that again. Basically, but only for the, the, the artworks in the new expansion. You don't have to do it for everything again. So make sure to back up your alterations like I did. Over here, Moto Alters. Then you go to your, your what's it called? To the folder. App data, local, Wizards of the Coast, Magic Online images, Avatar and Frame, Tier 1. And then in order to load those into Magic Online again, you need to remove the deny on write and grant writes to, to write into that folder again. Doesn't work when Magic Online is already running. You have to close Magic Online first and then make these changes and then run Magic Online. And then you can load all of the new artworks. Then you close Magic Online. You copy your alterations back into the tier one folder. And then you set or then you deny writing rights once again for probably all three users I've, I've, for system and two users. I've always did it that way and it worked. So yeah, this is how you alter Magic Online. If you have any questions, um, just let me know in the comments. If you like this, also let me know. Oh, by the way, you see. I actually haven't loaded these card images. This is what it's going to look like for you if this is a fresh installation. Once again, if you already played tons of whatever, legacy, modern, everything, and you have seen all the cards in that format, you probably have already, like, you probably already have all of those images on your, on your hard drive. But if you don't, and you will every once in a while encounter cards that are just like blanks, and if it happens too often, it's somewhat annoying, then you at least know how to fix that by removing or granting writing rights to the folder again and just loading those cards into your, your collection by setting the quantity to zero and scrolling to it or you can even like just enter the name say what's this called bone float bone flute i just enter this and the artwork doesn't load because i haven't granted writing rights right now because i want to preserve my alterations but you get the idea so yeah that's how you alter magic online that's how you get all of this and Hope you liked it. Let me know and see you somewhere on Twitter. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching.